the new birth, the Bible, new creation, living God. This is all about who we are because of what Jesus did for us. He made us a new creation. And the prophecies in the Old Testament, there's a couple of them, and one of them is in Ezekiel 25, Ezekiel 36, 25 and 27. He talks about, I'm going to cleanse you from all of your idols, from all of your filthiness. I will cleanse you. How does he do that? The precious blood of Jesus that had in it eternal life was in that blood. <clears throat> the blood itself had eternal life in it. It didn't putrefy <coughs> like man's blood. It didn't putrefy. It didn't fall to the earth. The earth drank it in. The atmosphere absorbed it. This blood had eternal life in it. It couldn't die. So it's interesting. A new creation that was promised to us being saved is also promised to this physical earth and this physical universe. The blood began to work a new creation in us and in the earth. The earth drank it in, became like a seed. Down in the midst of the center part of the earth, not the physical part, but the part that the earth came forth from the word of God, a new creation began and there's going to be a new earth. A new earth. 